Kijanam, I mean Stankin Hungarian. So here we are in Rio Grande National Forest. We got some pretty scars. They look pink to me, but it's not. Anyway, there's some big mountains. So the moon should be over here. There it is. Boop. And oh, it's good how it just stood a light. Black. Wait. Black. Wait. And here's our fire. So we made that just from. Well, Phil made it. <laughs> <laughs> Just a moody fan lying around. So today was very eventful. We were aiming to do a 60 mile day and we had a late start. I don't know why it takes us so long to get ready. Like we were in a cabin this tonight, last night. It was... <sighs> but they had nice coffee. So that was good. And... Campfire's most interesting background I've decided. And then we cycled and cycled. And it isn't I mean, it isn't faster from the road. We like streamlined, which is where you go like behind each other. Just streamlined. And then we got onto a sand road and we had the wind right in our face. So that was pretty tough. And then Mike wanted to pump up his tires, but unfortunately he <laughs> excuse. Yeah. Unfortunately, it didn't go so good. So Mike's running a tubeless tire, which means it doesn't have an inner tube. So the tire, because usually you have a tire and then an inner tube and then the metal rim of the wheel. But Mike was running on just tubeless. So it's just a tire and then some... Oh, look at that. Squishy stuff that will fill in any holes that are made. <clears throat> And he tried to pump up, and then the valve shut off, which was really bad. So then he put a tube in, and then found the valve <laughs> after replacing it and fixing it. And so that was fine. We went and had lunch, and when we were about to leave from lunch. He had another flat, so the inner tube didn't work, which that bad bad. And then the patches weren't working so good. Well, the puncture repair kit patches so then he tried to use a 26 inch now his wheel is a 29 inch which has the advantage of rolling better and is good for these rough roads over long distances and I think it's fast on the flats and maybe on the downhills so 29 inch was what he's running and he used a 26 inch inner tube and Somehow, it managed to destroy the rimless tire. I mean, the tire. So that was a $75 tire down the drain. And then, bizarrely, we're well, like, we're all out of tubes. One of the tires is just broken. It's a bit sad. Some A couple from Texas rolled up and in a van and gave us two inner tubes and offered a tire, but we declined because it's like 75 bucks and we felt bad taking it. But they gave us loads of water and basically allowed us to fix the wheel. <laughs> so that was a nice surprise. Trail magic, that's what we call that. And then we got on the road again and we pretty much got blown up a hill, which doesn't usually happen. Like, blown up a hill forwards. Because we were getting blown up hills backwards, which wasn't much fun. We were having to pedal going down downhill before lunch because it was windy. But then after lunch, we were getting blown up the hill. That was 10,000 plus feet. And then we were getting blown down the hill, also in the right direction. <laughs> so we got here, and we actually did like 60 miles as we planned, even though we'd had a horrible morning and all these mechanical issues. And we got to this lovely campsite, and there's all these, I guess, they kind of like this guy over here. So they go up, and then they have a cliff, and then they go along. So that's cool. They also have lots of green stuff here. It kind of looks a bit like England, some of Denver, because it's all green and stuff and rolling hills. Anyway, wow, this is a long one. Phew! That's what happens when you get talkative. Thank goodness knows I'm talkative. <laughs>